Good morning everybody Welcome back to another episode uh, We are uh, here at uh, Imania Lodge in the north of Namibia just next to the Itosha National Park uh, Yesterday we went for a bit of game drive in the Itosha National Park and we came back here for the afternoon to relax just uh, yeah, lounge around a little bit and I, last night also had a very beautiful dinner so today we're uh, almost heading to the end of our tour going to Windhoek which is uh, roughly about 500 kilometers from Namutoni or uh, Tsumep so yeah we're gonna leave uh, in an hour or so and then uh, we're uh, heading south so I hope you enjoyed today's video it's gonna be a good one let's check it out It was the guy's last riding day in Africa. Now these guys will have memories that will last them forever. And I hope they share their experiences with the others back home. Our first stop for the day was going to be about 70 kilometers from here to Tsumep. in the town of uh, Tumep. It's a mining town here in the north, also known as the gateway to the north of Namibia. There's uh, quite a few uh, uh, major roads that run through Tumep, going to Windhoek or to uh, Grootfontein. Yeah, so uh, Tumep was a bit of a mining town. They've uh, been uh, mining copper ore here for uh, quite some time. And they've also uh, found some uh, gold and zinc, yeah, other type of minerals uh, that come out uh, together with the copper ore. Now also, uh, Tumep is known for uh, the largest meteor has uh, ever been found here. A big uh, chunk of metal lying in the field. Uh, it's now also a bit of a tourist attraction. There's a lot of farms around this area, a lot of uh, cattle farming and also fruit farming, uh, sheep farming and then also uh, Tumemp is known for a couple of uh, sinkholes and underground lakes uh, it is arguably that one of the deepest underground lakes is here in, uh, in Tumemp called uh, Guinas uh, Guinas uh, is the one of the deepest underground lakes uh, that was found. Uh, some divers tried to reach the bottom, but uh, uh, up to 50 meters they said there's only powdery blue water underneath, so they don't find uh, the bottom yet. Also the German army, when the South African army invaded uh, Namibia in uh, 1940, they, 14, they uh, dumped all their weaponry into the lake. Some of it has been recovered and is now uh, shown in some of the museums. We all just had a bit of a coffee and a bathroom break here and then headed off to Tavi and Ochiwarongo. About 180 kilometers or two hours later, we arrived in Ochiwarongo. The name Ochiwarongo means beautiful place in the local Oshibambo language. Many visitors will travel through Ochiwarongo from Itosha to Windhoek which makes it a perfect spot to stock up on supplies or have a lunch at one of the restaurants in town. We plan to have our lunch here, so we booked a lunch stop at Bohemia Coffee and Bookshop, where we had a very delicious home-cooked meal and where we bought some gifts for friends and family back home.
We needed to start leaving Ochevarongo at this point as we still had quite a bit to go to Windhoek. Some of the main attractions around Ochevarongo are the Waterberg Plateau Park, which is a natural reserve characterized by its striking red sandstone cliffs and diverse ecosystems. The park offers several hiking trails, providing opportunities for visitors to explore the unique landscape, spot wildlife and enjoy breathtaking views from the plateau. Not far from Ochevarongo is also the Cheetah Conservation Fund, which is an internationally recognized organization dedicated to the protection and preservation of cheetahs. Here we also drove past Okahanja, which is known for the military training facility and a big craft market with handmade arts from different places all around Southern Africa. Yeah, so we're in uh, Windhoek now. We're uh, staying here at the uh, Windhoek Country Club, just uh, next to the Eros uh, Airport, which is not the main airport of Windhoek. Uh, tomorrow and on Friday some of the clients are going uh, to the Kusia Kutaku airport uh, to get their transfers that uh, will fly back home. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, it was uh, not too exciting, we were just driving from uh, Itosha to Windhoek. And uh, yeah, so you know what to do if you did like the video. And then I will see you in the next one. So take care out there.